How's it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video now if you guys have been living under a rock and you are not aware Tomorrow in America is Thanksgiving which means Friday is Black Friday and Monday is Cyber Monday And that is exciting because not only do we get good deals on Amazon, but we also get uh, full price packs and more of them in fact more expensive packs and 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 you know more of them to open on FIFA so we get to spend more money on the game and no discount whatsoever on FIFA points or packs or anything really but we do get the black friday promo in fifa which is always exciting because it's one of the best times of the year if you ask me one of the best promos of the entire year now we get new sbcs we get a banger team of the week we get some really nice packs to open and just overall a fun time in fifa so i'm really excited and i hope you guys are too we're going to take you on this journey talk about what we're going to get in black friday and hopefully have a really good time because i'm really excited and i've refrained from making this video because a lot of people have been making like black friday market crash videos for the last month and i don't really know much about the market so i just wanted to make a video on spcs and actually show you some real research so here it is obviously if you've been playing fifa for a while you'll know that black friday is just this abundance of packs every hour spcs every other hour and just you know constant barrage of absolute content everywhere all the time so you know you should be really excited for that because i am and i think everyone else is so uh, we're gonna jo go jump into it and talk about what we can expect during black friday the one thing ea do all the time is these flash spcs they've been doing it for the last couple of years with spcs during black friday and cyber monday uh, and basically every hour or every other hour for like an hour uh, we get an spc where we get not the world's best pack sometimes we like on the odd occasion we get a 50k pack or a 35 5k pack but usually it's a pack like this like a small rare gold players pack and it usually lasts between an hour and two hours uh and the one here lasted for two hours and uh this i think was on black friday it was on november 24th so i think that was black friday last year uh and basically uh you get an spc that you can submit for the two hours and then after the two hours another spc comes out and it's just you know constant spc after spc which is really exciting this one was from a small rare gold players pack now do not sleep on this spc last year i had an xbox and a playstation account like i do this year and last year on my playstation account i believe i actually packed neymar from this spc and it sold for like 400k which was just incredible so i was really excited about that and it was an spc i literally spent nothing on so it was a great way to set me up for black friday um and it was just a really good spc in general so if you're gonna complete an spc do not sleep on this one because it's a really good SBC to complete. Now, uh, amongst these uh, SBCs, in terms of like this one, this one was really, really cheap to complete. It had like a full gold team and a bronze player in it, so it really wasn't difficult to complete at all. But in terms of SBCs, uh, they were like pretty decent. In terms, like I'll get into like some of the SBCs we'll get in a second. One thing that we didn't get last year, but we got in FIFA 17, and I really was good if we didn't get last year, was the 81 plus or the 82 plus SBC. My favorite SBCs by a country mile. The 81 SBC... Uh, the 81 plus sorry spc specifically was a two player pack with two rare 81 plus rated players so you can't get a player less than 81 rated it took a full rare gold squad to complete and once you did it you got a untradeable gold pack basically where you get a two rare gold player pack and you get two 81 plus packs in, uh, sorry two 81 plus players in the pack uh where essentially like people were packing some incredible stuff from this spc because it was just incredible uh and you know if you're gonna tell me uh, untradeable packs aren't different to tradable packs and i'm just not going to believe you but i don't think before we get into that i don't think you should pick up a load of rare players because the amount of packs that are going to be opened on black friday there is no reason to pick up a load of rare players it is the silliest investment method you can make because you just won't make any coins from it uh there's no way that rare players like 75 rated rare players are going to rise in price at all unless they are specifically required for like a flash spc maybe they're a montpellier italian player and you need a montpellier italian player that is when it's going to rise apart from that they're just not and the reason is is because so many people are going to be opening 50k lightning rounds 100k lightning rounds to uh, 125k lightning rounds sorry there's no way that they're going to rise in any way at all because they're going to be open so much that the supply is going to be way overwhelming the demand if i were you i'd just hold on to all your rares and maybe pick up some on black friday via bidding i just don't think it's worth it trying to pick them pick them up now and hope they're going to go up because they're just not i just don't think that is something that's going to happen at all in fact in terms of player pricing the only players really that go down on black friday are the mid-tier gold players the 83 to 86 rated players the ones that are packed like repeatedly over and over and over again are the ones that drop the ones that are overpriced are the ones that drop for example Young Min Son, I think, will drop quite a lot. And we'll get into plays that are going to drop in just a second or, or later on in the video. Uh, now we're just talking specifically about SBCs. But in other news of SBCs that come out, 
We also get the upgrades in terms of like the um, the Premier League, La Liga, Calcio A, etc. upgrades. We get these upgrades. Now, the Premier League normal upgrade is actually a 7.5k pack. And the three players you get in there are Premier League players. The premium Premier League upgrade is actually a 25k all players pack with three rares in it. All Premier League players. Same with La Liga. It's just the exact same. So the way it really works is actually um, the premium one is probably the most worth it to do, if you ask me. Uh, and they're always great during team of the year and team of the season. In fact, team of the season specifically is where you pack so many team of the seasons from whatever league is out then uh, from these SBCs because they're just incredible. Uh, however, these SBCs are really decent decent to complete if you're trying to like build the club. I believe last year or the year before that, I packed a Pogba in one of these SBCs. So in my opinion, they're definitely worth it to try and pick up a bunch of untradables uh, 100%. The requirements for these SBCs, the premium one is 11 gold rare players with, I think, like 30 chemistry. And the premium, uh, sorry, the non-premium upgrade is 11 gold players. It could be non-rares with 30 chemistry. Um, so what usually, what I would do <clears throat> is I'd do like a premium one and then I'd use the non-rares from the premium one and shove them back into either the, the non-premium or the normal gold upgrade just to get a few more players to go and put them into the premium one. Uh, these are great. These do like completely decimate your club within a matter of seconds. You do like four of them and that's like 44 gold rare players completely gone. So take your time with them if you ask me. Like, like there's no point doing loads of them at once. Just take your time and do them gradually because if you ask me, doing them gradually gets you better pack look. Now that's not confirmed. It's just what I like... I feel is a thing because that's what I've experienced over the years. Now, we also get another SBC and it's the Team of the Week SBC, which I'm really excited about. So we get a Team of the Week upgrade from the Team of the Week that we currently have and a tradable Team of the Week upgrade from all Team of the Weeks. And then they're both 81 plus players. Now, they may not be 81 plus this year because we haven't had that rating minimum in the Foot Chance Rewards, for example. So we might not see it in the uh, Black Friday SBCs, but this is the Team of the Week we're going to be having for these upgrades now. The left side looks incredible, apart from Orban uh, and maybe Kolarov. The right side looks absolutely awful, and that is probably the players you're going to get. So, you know, uh, Van Dijk, uh, Alisson, Salah, Pjanic, Wijnaldum, Valencia, Kane, Mahrez, Sane all look fantastic. They all would be absolutely fantastic in these upgrades. Uh, now, don't forget, we do get our premium Team of the Week packs one day before. So, we obviously get our, like, our red cards one day before. So, you know... When this SBC comes out, um, we're going to already have our red cards for the SBC. So, um, you know, maybe you pack like a red Sarni and you get a red Sarni in the SBC. It's just going to happen. So I think a lot of people this year might be doing tradable as opposed to untradable to try and stop them from packing duplicates. I'll probably still go untradable. I'm not entirely sure now, but I think, I think I'll probably end up still going untradable. And I'm super excited for it as well. It's just going to be a really good time. Uh, and I really like these kind of SBCs. Um, this team of the week looks really good if you ask me and I'm, I'm really excited to try and uh, to try and pack some of these really good cards So uh, I'm really excited for that now. I did pull up a video from Matt HD gamer uh, He opened a ton of them and his pack look did not seem fantastic now Don't remember who was in the team of the week last year, but his pack look from these didn't seem amazing now like the first one he got like a, a Callum Wilson, I believe it was then it's like a then it, I think then the next one's like a, an 85 pastore So it's not too bad uh, but the rest of them just aren't fantastic at all. You know, he gets like a uh, a Zila here. He gets a bunch of Adebayors, like like 30 Adebayors from 10 packs. I know, it's crazy, right? Um, he gets another Pastore there, just duplicate after duplicate. Um, last year, they just didn't seem fantastic. So uh, hopefully this year, they're a little bit better. Uh, I'm hoping we get better pack look than what Matt HD Gamer got in his video. But... There's no, there's no telling what we're going to get, you know, there's no, there's no promises, but these are the SBCs we are going to get. Now, in terms of players I'm going to be buying and selling, this is the kind of team that I would like to build over Black Friday. Obviously, I won't, I won't be having this in game. I'll be changing formation in game to a 4-2-3-1, but this is the team I am looking to build on Black Friday. It's a pretty solid looking team, if you ask me. I've got 60,000 FIFA points later up, which in my opinion is a lot of FIFA points. That can get me 30, 100k packs or 60, 50k packs. Uh, and, and, you know, working it out, I think 100k pack discard for about 14, 15k. So at minimum, I'm going to make like 400k. You know, it's not quite the 1.5 million I'm looking for, but I'm hoping to pack a few decent players and I'll probably end up adding more FIFA points along the way. But I think 60,000 FIFA points is enough to get some decent players. And I'm really excited to actually jump into packs and open them and hopefully get some good stuff. Uh, but that is the sort of team that I am looking to build. Maybe I don't make 1.5 million coins and make that team. Maybe I do. Who knows? But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that when we get to it. Um... But in terms of like the plays that I think would sell, in terms of like in terms of like uh, rating, I think anywhere from like 83 to 80 sort of 
five-ish maybe is somewhere is like a great way to look at where players are going to sell. I think good players that are going to drop down in price are going to be someone like Kyle Walker, for example, who's already dropped quite heavily in price, in my opinion. Um, now, a lot of players like Fabinho are, are heavily heavily used for like weaker leagues so Fabinho and Van Dijk are players that won't lose value until actual packs are being opened uh, and the reason I say that is because like they're always getting bought up now Van Dijk is a like 200,000 coin roughly 85 rated card this guy will be packed fairly often during Black Friday so I can see him dropping to like 150 at least um, and I, the reason I say that is because I think that like the supply will outweigh the demand for like the first three lightning rounds before people start buying so that is the time you want to actually start to buy and then when people start like buying their cards later on at night that's when you want to sell because that's when players are going to rise up that's my opinion i'm not an expert i'm not run the foot market uh so i don't know the market to a huge degree but that is the way i'd sort of see it and that is the way it seems to have been the last couple of years where usually at night time when there's lightning rounds die off is when players prices start to rise and during the day is when they start to dip so that is when i would buy it and that's when i would sell personally now uh, if you ask me this team i, I do want to get opinions on this team what do you guys think i, I would play a 43 one with ronaldo up top the brain at central cam and then the two cams uh as the two wingers and then makalele and fabinho as cdms um let me know what you think. Now, also, we could potentially get an Icon SBC. EA might be really generous and give us a two-for-one Icon SBC. That's something I've seen rumoured. Do I think we'll get it? Probably not. But if we do get it, that'll be pretty exciting. And I'm hoping they do something like that because that would just be incredible. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for Black Friday. I'm really excited for it. That's the lowdown. Hopefully, you guys are excited too. Let me know down below if you are. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you later.